Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Customers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Got a big day. Got an exciting day today. Um, one of the things that uh, is going on today at the uh, Ponderosa is we are getting a big pond cleaned out and I'm so excited for it. Um, I am waiting on the excavator to be dropped off. I'm not doing the work. Um, we've uh, hired locally to have somebody come and do it for us and so very excited about that and can't wait to bring you guys on this. It's gonna be so awesome. I'm gonna get some great footage for you. Well, one of the things we gotta do first is uh, the excavator has to cut through our pasture, pasture one, which is where the big Joe herd is. So me and Maya and Ty there, are uh, gonna go round up the big Joe herd, get them out of here, bring them up to the corral, which I've had it open so they could come up there and graze. Let them come up there and I'm gonna lock them in there. I got some cubes to get them up there with. Let's go find them and round them up here. It shouldn't take much. Oh, Elsa. Elsa's joining us. Goofy dog. some of the uh, blackberry bushes I cleared. Let's get a little rattle at the sack here. Get their attention. Elsie, you better stay in. Here we go. Now we're, now we're, we're... Let's go back to the crowd. Come on, let's go. I wanted to go this morning. Even Elsa. <laughs> well, we got them all caught right here. There's not very many of them, but eight females and one bull, Big Joe, and two calves. So now we've uh, got them at least in here. We'll give them some water, and they'll be they'll be good to go. 
they'll be in here for the day just because of that excavator and there will people be traveling in and out of their pasture you lower the risk of them running through a gate or something and, and dealing with people uh, that aren't used to, uh, that aren't used to the bison they'll be good in here they'll be happy and hang out so now waiting on the excavator uh, to arrive and then we're gonna follow him down to uh, the pond and I'm gonna show you what ponds we are working on Guys, this is one of the coolest things uh, I've seen. I could sit here all day and just watch him scoop all this filth out of the bottom of this pond. He is, he is reaching out there pretty far with this excavator. I don't know how far. I don't know how big this thing is. It says 200D on the side of it. I don't know nothing about these things. John Deere, he's getting way out there. Notice he'll build a pad kind of right there in front of him. He'll scoop some dry dirt up pad comes out a little bit so he can reach out there further but uh he's uh he's only been at it maybe close to an hour and uh it's gonna take a little bit of time but you know it's totally worth it if he, he's out here he's gonna get out there as far as he can but he'll be able to make his way all the way around the pond basically and get on the edge and the good thing is is this pond's almost completely dry and you can see uh some dryness here so he'll be able to get out there and he may be able to even scoop all the way across this pond. And uh, something else exciting, the guy who, who uh, got me going with all this and got the excavator, he's not actually running it now. He uh, went to go get his bulldozer. He talked me into it. I, <laughs> we'll do it all at once since, since we're doing it. But uh, Bryce is going to go get his uh, bulldozer and he's going to help him scrape this uh, mud out that he's scooping that's piled up right here. He's going to scrape it out into the pasture and drop all that stuff off. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Put it back into uh, and let the air soak it up once the muddy and just put some nutrients back in the ground. Uh, I'm assuming is what it'll do. But uh, Bryce is going to come actually start bulldozing that dirt and then he's going to clean up the pond dam for us because you know something about these trees right here these are willow trees and I've heard this before but I heard willow trees can make your ponds leak and I've heard that they also um, consume a lot of water 
Uh, so they are pretty and they are nice, but uh, we're gonna have to take some of them out. And uh, so that's just part of it. And uh, so we'll be able to fish out here someday and, and do some stuff. And the, bison, the bison will have some really good drinking water and hopefully this pond gets a lot deeper. Um, but we've got to take out some of these willow trees to reduce uh, the damage on this pond and losing water. And uh, we can always plant trees later on. Little pond digging strategy here we've got the excavator here still working its way around the uh, west side of the pond then I've got uh, we've got Bryce on the bulldozer I like this little technique right here at the skit the uh, excavator did is he kind of left this uh, bridge right here and kept the water in here from rushing down here so he could really get down here and clean uh, this part out right here so that's pretty cool Wonder, I really wonder how deep he's getting out there, but we won't know until later on.
So it's day two out here at the Ponderosa. This is what I call the uh, halfway uh, place, the halfway nine acres. It's a nine acre lot that has this uh, big pond on it. And I used to fish this pond when I was a kid. And it was a great pond. But since then, it has silted in and filled in over time. Just like a lot of these ponds do. And, and some of you that have ponds, you know what I'm talking about. Ponds, ultimately, uh, you know, unless they have some really good banks and some really good dams, they fill in over time uh, with the drainage and erosion of, of soil and whatnot all flows into your pond. So it fills up over time. And there's no telling how long ago this was built or how deep they dug it. But um, very excited. Got the excavator out here. And then we've got Bryce is on the dozer helping clean up. And what they're doing is when he piles up all this muck and, and mud that's been in this pond for a long time, uh, Bryce will hop on the bulldozer and scrape some of it out what he can because it's super muddy. And uh, if you lay it out and stretch it, stretch it out on the pasture, kind of putting some uh, nutrients back into the ground and then uh, it'll dry. It's perfect for what's going on because the timing on this is great because uh, the sun is supposed to be out uh, the next several days once these guys wrap it up and a lot of this dirt will dry and then what's happened after that is uh, we're supposed to get some rain so if we get all of this dirt will eventually dry that's piled up right back here then we get it spread out let it dry in the sun get some rain on it and it'll settle back in the ground and uh, just repurposing all that soil uh, very excited for all this that's going on and uh, I know Marissa will be happy too. You guys really can't tell what's happening back here, uh, but this uh, this used to be covered in trees. I couldn't drive across here. Let's just say that. The, my, I couldn't, you couldn't drive an ATV across here, you couldn't drive a truck across here, but I just drove the ATV uh, across here for the first time and we're sitting on top of the, we're sitting on the pond dam, which is a, a first time thing. So. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoy the footage of what's going on. Uh, this is a, uh, it's amazing what can be done. And, uh, you know, once we get this thing cleaned, we'll be able to put some fish in there. I saw a bunch of baby fish in here, um, yesterday. Oh, also got some great footage of a snake came out. Well, Bryce and I were talking actually about catching rattlesnakes in Southwestern Oklahoma. I don't do it. He does talking about snakes and he points over and says look at there and then sure enough a water snake comes down the bank goes out here because when he's moving all this water around it's draining and it drained a big portion of this pond well what was left was some fish got caught in it Tur uh, some turtles got caught in it the snake came out and started eating the fish check this out right here it is wild first time I ever seen this before he took full advantage of what was going on and went out there and started eating all the fish that were kind of flopping around. start getting some rain and stuff we'll uh we'll actually stock this park in the future uh once it gets a lot of water in it this thing will be a lot deeper uh than it was than it is right now um and we'll be able to push some fish in it and actually start back over and that takes some time and whatnot but this will be a good pond for us to bring brooks and uh hang out and uh teach her how to fish
So here he's uh, taking some of the dry dirt from the bank that hasn't had water in a long time and he's putting it on the dam here. Looks like he may be building the dam up some and then he may just shove it off over the back side of the dam but maybe he's giving the dam a little bit of height here with this good soil. Some of this dry stuff. He builds himself a pad here he can work off of so he can get out there pretty far in that sludge and then throw it here behind the dam like he's doing to build the dam up. dam's gonna be a whole lot bigger. Look at him. <laughs> Man, what a busy past two days. Me running around, trying to help on the skid steer, cleaning out a pond, filming. <laughs> Man, this place, can't wait to show you what it looks like now after two days of work. Right now the excavator is kind of finishing the job and then uh, this is it guys, the end of the project. We're gonna go uh, help uh, wash the bulldozer a little bit with the uh, power washer up at the barn and then uh, tell you guys more about and show you the final results of how the pond looks. All right guys. <laughs> Take a look at this mess. And uh, you're like, golly, Dusty, that didn't look like it's much deeper. Well, I guarantee you, you can't tell uh, because pictures and video just don't do it justice. But this pond is a lot bigger. He got a lot of it cleaned out. And I know it's still a little crummy because there's a lot of that sludge that was dumped off up here. And uh, a bunch of it is on the back side of the dam, which you saw kind of slowly crawling down the back side of the dam. And that was the sludge from the very core of it, which you can still see some of it left right there that he just couldn't reach with that excavator because there is some water left, obviously, and it gets a little soggy. And we don't want to get an excavator stuck out here in this bison pond. Yeah, he got a bunch of it out, but that mud reminded me of like lava moving slowly down the hill or across the beach or wherever it goes um, that's what it kind of reminded me of so pretty neat that uh i've never seen that before but he got a core of that out he cleaned it up made the dam bigger and now we can drive across it for the first time you just can't really tell the difference in this place you can tell because of the trees and stuff are missing left a couple uh, good pe pecan trees and whatnot just needed to happen and this is a it's a beautiful pond and it's big and it's neat it's got a neat uh design to it um so this will be a pond that we can go fishing at and whatnot but i'm um, very excited to see the changes i got some stumps to uh burn down here and there that they couldn't get out with the excavator or bulldozer um, because of the slope but um, i'll get those burn off and this thing will look really pretty after we get some rain uh get some grass growing on it this place will look completely different get it all cleaned up this mud this sludge was so gnarly the bulldozer had a hard time even pushing it because it was so slick and he got some of it piled up here so it wouldn't wash back down into the pond and so i still got some cleaning up to do on the skid steer and whatnot but uh hope you guys have enjoyed this what a process and 
some of you ask, well, Dusty, why did you do this? Well, guys, ponds fill in over time with silt over time and uh, it was so dry and we have rain coming. I don't know how much. <laughs> You, you just hope that it comes it was just timing this thing was getting to just very very low and what you got to take your opportunities when you can and so we've been wanting to do this and have a pond that we can hang out at as a family and eventually the bison will be here and that's the goal of this whole thing this is the last small acreage actually nine acres before they go into another big 80 acres so one step at a time one acre pond whatever it is fence build at a time and we will have this thing wrapped up all project 189 thank you guys for watching hope you've enjoyed to see the change and i'll keep you updated as we keep cleaning it up thank you guys